Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to compile C files using Clang on Mac and Linux. So this is my sample C file which I'll be using for demonstration. And so let's start the terminal. So as you can see in my folder I just have one file and to compile it I'll type the name of my compiler which is Clang and then name of the file which contains my C code or the file which I want to compile which is sample.c and press enter so as you can see after um, trying to compile I got a new file generated which is a.out so a.out is the default name of the executable file which is generated whenever we compile a C file using our compiler so to run a.out file all I have to do is dot slash a.out the dot stands for the current directory and then slash file name so if I try to run it so we can see my program ran successfully so now the thing is what if we wanted to uh, compile our program but we don't want our executable file to named a.out all the time so to change that all we have to do is when we are compiling our file all we have to do is we just add dash o and then the name which we want our executable file to be named right so let's try result and press enter and ls so see we can see a new file is generated this time which is result so if we try to run result same way dots stand for current directory and result is the name of the executable file press enter and yeah everything works so up to this point everything is fine so one thing i want to mention more is what if you wanted to turn warnings on like if you compile this program there is no warning right now right but to turn warnings on all you have to do is after the compiler name add dash wall and space right so if you add dash wall you'll get all the warnings also so press enter so here you could see it's telling in line 9 there's a integer z which is equal to 10 but it's never used so here we could see in our line 9 it's an integer z which is equal to 10 but never used so if I remove it if I comment it out and then try to compile again yeah it's fine now so now yeah everything works fine so in this tutorial we learned how to compile a C file then how to name the executable file other than a.out and how to turn warnings on and off right so that's pretty much it for this tutorial see you guys in the next one goodbye